The world watches with bated breath as China embarks on an ambitious naval endeavor, the construction of the Type 004 supercarrier. This formidable vessel, shrouded in secrecy and speculation, represents a significant leap forward in China's naval capabilities. Its emergence heralds a new era of Chinese naval power, one with the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape and challenge the long-standing dominance of the United States Navy. For decades, the United States has reigned supreme as the world's leading naval power. Its fleet of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, unmatched in size and capability, has projected American military might across the globe. However, the emergence of the Type 004 signals a shift in the balance of power. This supercarrier, with its advanced technology and formidable firepower, has the potential to challenge the US Navy's dominance and usher in a new era of great power competition at sea. The Type 004 is being built at the Jiangnan shipyard in Shanghai, a testament to China's growing industrial prowess. Satellite images and leaked information provide tantalizing glimpses into the carrier's massive size and advanced features. Analysts estimate that the Type 004 will displace over 100,000 tons, making it one of the largest warships ever built. Its massive flight deck, equipped with electromagnetic catapults, will be capable of launching a wide array of aircraft, including stealth fighters, early warning aircraft and helicopters. The construction of the Type 004 is a clear indication of China's determination to become a global naval power. It reflects the country's growing economic might, technological sophistication and geopolitical ambitions. The carrier's emergence has sent ripples of concern through the halls of power in Washington, Tokyo and other capitals across the Indo-Pacific region. As the Type 004 prepares to take to the high seas, the world braces itself for a new era of naval rivalry. The Type 004 supercarrier is a marvel of modern naval engineering, boasting an array of advanced features that set it apart from its predecessors. At its heart lies a state-of-the-art nuclear propulsion system, a technological feat that grants the carrier virtually unlimited range and endurance. This innovation liberates the Type 004 from the constraints of traditional fuel requirements, allowing it to operate independently for extended periods. The carrier's immense size is another testament to China's shipbuilding prowess. With an estimated displacement of over 100,000 tons, the Type 004 dwarfs its predecessors and rivals the largest aircraft carriers in the world. Its expansive flight deck spanning hundreds of meters provides ample space for aircraft operations. This expansive deck can accommodate a formidable air wing consisting of up to 70 aircraft, including advanced fighter jets, early warning aircraft and helicopters. One of the most striking features of the Type 004 is its electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or EMAILS. This cutting-edge technology, a significant leap forward from traditional steam catapults, uses linear induction motors to launch aircraft with greater speed and precision. EMAILS offers several advantages over steam catapults, including reduced wear and tear on aircraft, increased launch efficiency and the ability to launch a wider range of aircraft types. The Type 004 is also expected to be equipped with a sophisticated suite of sensors, radars and electronic warfare systems, providing it with unparalleled situational awareness and the ability to detect and track threats from afar. Its defensive capabilities are further bolstered by advanced missile systems designed to intercept incoming enemy aircraft and missiles. The Type 004's true strength lies in its ability to host a formidable carrier air wing, a potent mix of advanced aircraft designed to project Chinese power across the globe. At the forefront of this air wing is the J-35, China's latest stealth fighter jet. Designed to rival the American F-35, the J-35, boasts advanced stealth capabilities, a long operational range, and a sophisticated weapons payload. Complementing the J-35 are other advanced aircraft, each playing a crucial role in the carrier's air power projection. The J-15T, an upgraded version of China's current carrier-based fighter, provides a reliable workhorse for air superiority and strike missions. Its capabilities are further enhanced by the KJ-600, an early warning aircraft that provides critical airborne radar coverage and command and control capabilities. The Type 004's air wing is not limited to fixed-wing aircraft. The Z-20F-Z-20J, a versatile helicopter, provides anti-submarine warfare and search-and-rescue capabilities. Its presence underscores the carrier's ability to operate effectively in a multi-domain environment. The carrier's air wing is rounded out by a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles, providing intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. This diverse and potent mix of aircraft transforms the Type 004 into a mobile airbase 
capable of projecting Chinese power far beyond its borders. The carrier's air wing, with its advanced capabilities and diverse mission set, poses a significant challenge to any potential adversary. The arrival of the Type 004 supercarrier marks a pivotal moment in the global balance of military power. Its advanced capabilities and strategic implications have sent ripples of concern throughout the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. For decades, the United States Navy has reigned supreme, its fleet of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers serving as a symbol of American military might. The Type 004's emergence challenges this long-standing dominance, signaling the rise of a new naval power capable of contesting U.S. hegemony at sea. The Type 004's extended range, provided by its nuclear propulsion system, allows the Chinese Navy to operate far from its shores, projecting power into areas previously dominated by the United States. This newfound reach has significant implications for regional security, particularly in the South China Sea, a region of vital strategic importance and a flashpoint for potential conflict. The carrier's advanced capabilities, including its email's launch system and sophisticated air wing, provide China with a credible force projection capability. This enhanced military posture has the potential to alter the strategic calculus in the region, emboldening China to assert its claims more forcefully and potentially leading to an escalation of tensions with neighboring countries. The Type 004's impact extends beyond the Indo-Pacific region. Its emergence has global implications, signaling the rise of a multipolar world order in which the United States is no longer the sole dominant military power. This shift in the balance of power has prompted a reassessment of defense strategies among many nations, leading to increased military spending and a renewed focus on naval capabilities. crucial for China to achieve its naval goals. The economic implications of China's supercarrier ambitions are substantial. Building and maintaining a fleet of supercarriers demands a significant financial investment. This includes not only the initial construction costs, but also the long-term expenses related to upkeep and modernization. Furthermore, the economic burden extends to the development of supporting infrastructure and the necessary technological advancements. These investments, while costly, are seen by China as essential to securing its position as a dominant maritime power. International responses to China's naval expansion have been varied. Some nations view China's growing naval capabilities with concern, fearing a shift in the balance of power. Others see opportunities for collaboration and partnership. The global community is closely monitoring China's actions, assessing how its naval ambitions will impact regional and global security dynamics. The reactions from other countries will undoubtedly shape the future of international relations and maritime strategy. We are witnessing the dawn of a new era of great power competition. China's naval expansion marks a significant shift in the global strategic landscape. As nations adapt to this changing environment, the balance of power will continually evolve. The coming years will be pivotal in determining how this competition unfolds and what it means for global peace and stability.